Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very easy way you can replicate the weekends after hours deluxe version cover art. If you compare the original cover art to the deluxe version, it's the exact same photo just with a photo effect applied to it. And it's actually very simple to accomplish so I thought I'd make a video on it. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out the link in the description for a promotion that Adobe is having. You can get all Adobe products for 60% off if you're a student or a teacher so make sure to check that out. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, you can see the deluxe and the original. Uh, basically, all they did was add gradient maps. And I'm just going to sort of do a small breakdown of what gradient maps are and what specific colors they chose and how you can accomplish the same thing. But first, you can see that this photo is divided into two. So we want to divide this original image in the middle as well. You obviously don't have to do it in columns like this. You can do it in rows or diagonally. And so you can do this by pressing view, new guide layout, and you can set the number of columns or rows you want. So in this case, we just want two columns because there's only like two parts of the photo we want to edit. But let's just say you wanted your photo split into four. You can just enter the number four and there you go. But I'm going to do two. So I'm going to delete this photo because we don't really need it. Um, I just wanted to show how it looked like. And now we're going to edit the left side of the face and then the right side of the face. So we want to select the left side of the face right now. And we can do this by selecting the rectangular marquee tool select the left side and press gradient map. And basically when you want to select the colors black and red, basically the left color on this slider will go towards the darker parts of the photo and the right side of this slider will go towards the brighter parts of this photo. So shadows on the left, highlights on the right. That's basically it. And we're going to do the same for the right side of the face, except we're going to flip them. So we want to have red and then black. And we want to change the blend mode for this because it's just a little bit too extreme and it doesn't really look unified with the left side. We, we want it to sort of be seamless like the original cover art. So we can go ahead and choose a blend mode. I think lighting works the best. And then you can press control H to hide these guidelines. And that's basically it. If you wanna unify both of these, you could do a few things. You can match the contrast levels and the colors. So you can see this red is different than this red. This is a little bit brighter. So you would want to maybe make this a little bit darker of a red something like that so it matches also this is much more flat than this side so we can select on the left side of uh, the photo and just adjust the contrast level so you can use curves or you can use brightness and contrast so you want to select on the left side of the face and then press clipping mask so that it only applies to the left side of the face so if i make any adjustments you can see it only applies to where the clipping mask is attached to so if you lift up the curves here it'll basically fade out the blacks and if you do the same thing to the top point, it'll dull out the highlights. So you can basically do this to sort of flatten out the image. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the right side of the face and we're gonna press clipping mask and we're gonna bring this down. One extra thing you can do if you want is you can group all these. So press control G and then you can merge this. Uh, but before I merge it, I'm gonna press control J to duplicate and then press control E to merge. And so I can make any adjustments to this merged layer. And if I don't like it, I could just delete it, but I'm gonna add noise. So I'm gonna press filter, noise, add noise. I'm gonna add just a bunch of noise. And you can also just make adjustments to this layer pretty easily. And you can change the color balance so you can sort of unify the entire image a little bit more so that there's like more of the same colors in the entire image. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys want to check out other Photoshop tutorials or check out my Discord channel, it'll be in the description as well. And yeah, with that being said, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.